Ethiopian troops would be an important element in any African expeditionary force. These are palace guards in training. It was late on the second day, Saturday, that the military problem was discussed. There were certainly voices for invasion, failing that for forward bases near Rhodesia. There were also delegates who saw some of the difficulties. At six that evening, the council broke for a while to cross the road past the imperial fountains and have a drink with the emperor. Military men were the ones everybody wanted to talk to, to assuage their doubts. It was almost the first chance delegates had to lobby each other. Dress optional. The Zambian Home Affairs Minister was in a blue and yellow beach shirt. The Zambian Foreign Secretary robed. The Tanzanian Vice President pyjama suited. When they went back to work, it was another four hours before they emerged for the last time. Communicate from Monsieur Telly. It was uncommunicative. The military problem had been settled by referring it to a committee, but the communique didn't say so. It simply said that the council had decided on concrete measures against the Smith regime. So that was it. Delegates began to think of facing their more skeptical heads of government with their decisions. By then it was two o'clock in the morning on Sunday. 